Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's going to be the best products of 2022. I am going to go through, oh, I see them in front of me, quite a few products that I am fairly sure that all of these were released during this year. This is usually how I do my best of beauty that I think are just the tippity top, the best of the best that have been released during this year. And I am so excited to be letting you know about all of these items. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video being here, hello, my name is Andy. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love discovering new favorites. And usually when something is a favorite for me, it's usually a favorite for years and years to come. So if you wanna see more makeup content, don't forget to subscribe because I upload right now, every day until Christmas. I did film this look and I filmed it for like a like a short form tutorial. I'm gonna put it up here on YouTube and I also put it on TikTok and on Instagram if you prefer to look at them there. I don't know if it's up now or if it's coming later, but I will leave a link to it in a pinned comment. If it's up, if it's not, it's coming soon, but in the pinned comment, I will also link all of the things that I have on my face right now. And I will say, Today, I'm basically having a full face of favorites. Most of the things on my face are things that I'm gonna be talking about today. I am gonna be starting with some like just skincare, perfume, hair care, because I don't have that many things to mention, but I still wanna mention them because they're still favorites. And then we're gonna move into makeup and I'm gonna end with eyeshadow palettes. And if you're interested in the worst makeup of 2022, that was yesterday's video, so don't forget to check back on that one as well if you wanna see what to avoid. Let's start with skincare because I have two things that I want to mention that I have really been enjoying this year. Don't know if these were like launched this year. I think this one launched this year, but I discovered them this year nonetheless. And this is the Peach and Lily Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser. And you're probably thinking, but she doesn't look like you used anything. Well, this is my second one. So I got one of these in PR. I loved it. I used it up and then I bought a new one. So this is my second one. The first one is in my empties. I'm gonna have an empties before the end of the year as well. I usually do an empties twice a year, just letting you know what things I've gone through, but I can let you know already, gone through my first one, absolutely love it. And I, this is my second one. I do use this as a first cleanse and I feel like it really, without irritating my skin, irritating my eyes, let me not show too much skin, without like, anything like that. It just melts through my makeup and like SPF and all of that. And then I use something else afterwards, like a second cleanse. Since this is an oil cleanse, I do prefer to go in with a second cleanse. And I highly do recommend that as well. You might have a breakout if you have too much oil in your skin. Definitely recommend that one. Absolutely, absolutely love it. And I have seen that quite a few of you have like clicked on this when I've linked it. So it seems like it's something that you are enjoying as well. And I could not recommend that one enough. Like I repurchased it. The second thing that I have is the also from Peach and Lily. And this is the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. Again, this is something that I most certainly will repurchase when I'm out and I am almost out. It does smell like tea, like matcha. It does smell like that but also has like a fresh, almost citrusy, very faint smell. It's very faint. It's nothing a lot. I don't know if there's like any fragrance in this or if it's like the ingredients that are like this, but it's such a nice, like almost like a hybrid between a cream and a gel. It goes on beautiful on the skin. It feels wonderful. I wear this nighttime or daytime if I feel like I need some extra hydration. But this for me is more of a nighttime moisturizer, but I do not have dry skin. So if you have dry skin, this might not be enough for you doing nighttime, but I have really been enjoying this one. And yeah, this one I gone through, this one I've always gone through. I really do enjoy them. When it comes to hair care, the thing that I have like, like noticed this year, the thing that I discovered this year, because also like all the things that I mentioned in like last year's favorites, like I still, pretty much love all of those. And I did start using the Olaplex Silver Shampoo last year. This year they released the Bond Maintenance Clarifying Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo, like a detoxifying shampoo, so you can get all of that. You know, when I go into the shower to wash my hair, it is basically 40% dry shampoo. This one removes all of that. It's just really nice to just resetting your hair. I use this, I would say once every two weeks, I use something like this and I think it's really beautiful because it is really t stripping your hair from all of that dirt and all of the hair products and everything that's been building up in your hair without stripping your hair of too much moisture. So I really do enjoy this one. And I also recently discovered the K18 Bio Mimetic Hair Science. This is the leave-in mask. This is the small one, hold on. I bought the full size uh, during the Black Friday sale because I've been loving this so much, so I decided to buy the full size. I've been using this now for about 
a month, a month and a half, and I, I really do enjoy this product. Highly recommend it. I follow the instructions, very, very easy instructions, and I think it works uh, beautifully. Honestly, I think it works beautifully. So those are the like, and then I have one more hair product to mention, and this one I mentioned in the beginning of the year, but I just wanted to let you know that this is still a favorite of mine, and I still use this almost every time I do my like hair, and I have it in my hair today. So this is the texture series from Sexy Hair. So this is Surfer Girl Dry Texturizing Spray. I use this in my roots to get some texture and to get some lift without using this one that is the texturizing spray gel. This gives more texture than this one. This one comes off a little sticky, but it doesn't stay sticky. Honestly, it's just a great way to get some volume, some texture into your hair. They're affordable as well in the grand scheme of hair products. Bought them at Ulta, I'll leave them down below, still love them. I have gone through this one the oh, this one the dry texturizing spray i have gone through this one this is my second one if that again tells you anything about how much i love these let me quickly mention because this has truly been the year for me to discover some new perfumes so let me first mention this one because i quite recently discovered this one but i've really been enjoying it and all of these are deluxe samples this is what i'm gonna tell you this is what I do with perfume. If they have like a travel size, like a mini sprayer or something like that, I will always buy that. And if I go through that and miss it, then I'll buy the big size. If you have more than three perfumes, something like this will last you a really long time if you cycle through your perfumes like I do. There's no need to be buying that big bottle unless it's like your signature scent or unless you're like, this is a favorite for the long run. So I always end up buying smaller ones. I bought a discovery set of boy smells and this one is is Flor de la Virgen, I think. This one is a citrusy, it has like citrus, it has honey, it has a bunch of stuff that I really love and it is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It is, it has some flowers in there and I'm usually not about the flowery scents, but I will say the other notes in this really makes this an interesting, fresh, summery but still sexy scent that I really do enjoy and as you can tell I went through a sampler and I bought this one and I also went through a sampler and bought the uh, travel one of A Prey by Ellis Brooklyn. This one is a sexy spicy juniper berry scent and I've gotten my friend Karen Harris on this one as well. It is absolutely amazing. It is perfect as a winter scent because of the juniper berries. It is like spicy and foresty without being oh it still has a little bit of that crisp almost winterness to it yeah this is definitely i i am i don't use the word obsessed a lot but i am obsessed with these scents and that is why i'm mentioning them here use them all the time again i went through the sampler bought the full size definitely love it and then i have two scents from tom ford and i didn't think i have smelled a lot of Tom Ford fragrances throughout my years and I've never really fallen in love with any of them and now I have fallen in love with two and I'm gonna have to buy doubles because my husband keeps stealing these from me he loves them too these are unisex scents and he loves them and he usually loves more traditionally masculine scents but he really loves these this is the ombre leather and this is truly a leathery scent that dries down to something warm and just very sexy and this is one of the most unique scents in my collection. If you do not love le the scent of leather, you're not gonna love this though, because it really does smell like that. And it's the same with this one, this uh, tobacco vanilla. And this is, it is a warm and spicy tobacco scent. And again, if you do not love tobacco, you're probably not gonna love this. But if you're like me and you're not the biggest fan of vanilla scents, you might love this because I'm not the biggest fan of vanilla scents. I love them on others, but I don't love them on me. This is the first vanilla scent that's really been for me. And again, I think this is the first vanilla scent that's really been for my husband too, because he keeps stealing these from me. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's a lot left. Sneaky man. Let's get into the makeup. And I actually have two primers to mention this year, which is very unlike me because I have never been the primer kind of a girl, but I've actually discovered two primers this year that I really love. And can you tell? Like I'm almost out of both of these. And this is the LH Cosmetics Matte Attack Primer. And this one, like I have used so much of this one. It is such a good primer and I use it around my nose, 
because I know that that is where I get a little oily if it's very warm and very humid outside, which it is in Texas during December. I'm not using this one right now, but I will say this really works. I truly see a difference with this one and I will a million percent repurchase when this one is out. And this one is the Professional Light, not the original Delight from Benefit, same here. I've used so much. This one is blurring and hydrating. It feels like a water cream. It comes out like almost like a putty and then it feels like a water cream going on and it's just very feels wonderful on the skin. It looks a little blurring and I just really love the consistency and the feel of this and I feel like it really makes my skin look a little blurred without feeling or looking silicone which is something that I really enjoy. I also wanted to mention I don't really know what this one is. <laughs> This is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Lit. This is all over glow enhancer. I got it in Taffy Topaz 02. And like I said, I will link everything down below in case you are wondering and I will put all my shades and everything down below in case that's something that you're interested in. I use this to mix in with foundation. I feel like this one is a glow without being glittery or sparkly. And you could probably use this as you can with any like liquid like primer or like liquid highlighter. It is just a really beautiful, I've used so much. I've used so much of this. I mix this with my foundation to make it a little bit more glowy. You can tell it just looks fresh and glowy and brings a little dew. And I think it is beautiful to either have on your cheekbones or to mix with your foundation to make it look a little bit more on the satin side and it doesn't make it sparkly and it doesn't change the formula which is the most important thing for me so i've been using this quite a lot i just think it makes your skin look a little bit more fresh i don't know if you even can see it here but i've been really enjoying this one i think it mixes well with foundations I've been really liking it and I will say this year there has been a lot of really good foundations that has launched but I wanted to let you know about my two favorites because I feel like sometimes with favorites videos we can mention two million products but I want to keep it to my absolute favorites the things that I've been loving the most and I actually have both of these foundations mixed on my face today because I was like I'm just gonna dig through my favorites and do a full face of my favorites so I decided to mix the Makeup Forever HD foundation I have mine in uh, 2 and 22 with the ambient glow foundation by hourglass and i have it in 7.5 both of these are really beautiful medium to buildable coverage this has more of a natural matte finish and this has more of a natural glowy finish what am i saying with that this is not dewy and this is not a straight up like powder matte but this one has a little less glow than this one but this one is not like super radiant or glowy with that being said i think both of these are beautiful high performing long lasting foundations that last good on my skin even if i am out in the warm humid sunshine of texas i've been very impressed with both of these when it comes to concealers i feel like i have actually replaced some of my favorite concealers this year i wanted to give a shout out to the nyx bear with me concealer con uh, concealer i really do enjoy this one i think this is a beautiful concealer from the drugstore i would say that this is a medium concealer but you can definitely build this up but i personally prefer using let I, I go by the when it comes to concealers less is more i've been trying to use as little concealer as possible as of late but you can build this up to full coverage it's easy to go overboard because of the pump but i do think that this is a really beautiful concealer that is a medium to buildable depending on how much you use i think this looks beautiful under the eyes i think it looks beautiful as a spot concealer it's a very affordable concealer i think this is a good concealer not like good for the price this is an actual good concealer why is the garbage truck here today can you see i'm doing important stuff I also want to mention another concealer from the drugstore and this is the one that I'm wearing today and this is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 hour concealer. This one is marketed as being a full coverage concealer. I do not think it is that. I think that this one is a thin, very easy to blend out, very easy medium coverage, easy to wear, it doesn't crease on me, it lasts beautifully on the skin, it looks believable. This is the probably the most believable concealer in my collection. I absolutely love this one. I think it is absolutely amazing. And again, it is what I'm wearing under my eyes today. And another concealer that I've really been loving is the Huda Beauty New Concealer. This is also a little bit more on the not like super creamy i would say that this is like a mix this is more creamy this is thinner and this is like a mix between the two honestly this one 
again, less is more. If you use too much, it creases on me and I have, I mean, I'm about to turn 39. I have do have fine lines under my eyes. So this is less is more, but if I use a little with this one, it is medium to full coverage. You can definitely get full coverage if you use a little bit more product. It doesn't crease, it doesn't move, it doesn't look cakey. It just looks, again, believable and beautiful and matte, but not flat. Absolutely have been loving this and I think that this one is my favorite concealer from Sephora right now. Not only is it this year's favorite, I think this is my favorite concealer from Sephora. I think it's great. I have this one in Sugar Biscuit. And this is basically like, this is not a super brightening concealer on me, but I have not really been into that this year either. Let's talk about a brow product. Actually, let's talk about two brow products. This one, I don't think that this was released this year, but I reviewed this in the beginning of the year when I moved here. And this is the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. I have it in my brows today. I have gone through, whoop, I've gone through, I see the line in between here. Boop, 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 boop. I've gone through two of these. That's what I wanted to say. So this is my third one. I think this is an absolutely amazing product. I have not been wanting to use any other kind of brow gel since I got this one. It was out of stock for a little bit. So I used one from Too Faced, which was okay, but not as good as this one. I just think that this really does lock in your brows. If you want a more flexible hold, if you do not want something that's gonna keep your brows in place all day, if you want something that's a little bit more on the flexible side, this isn't for you. But if you want something that's gonna make your brows stay, come rain or shine this is the one i think it's absolutely amazing i am not even remotely in the market for finding a new one since i found that one i've also wanted to like just give a honorable mention to this product i think it's absolutely beautiful and this is the uh palmade i think i pronounced it like that this is from benefit i have mine in 2.5 which is neutral blonde this is what i have in my brows today this is what all pomades wish that they were it is a semi-transparent but buildable formula. So if you just use a little, and it has this really beautiful almost staircase here where you can brush some product off without having to use the lid. It is a semi-opaque, so it's a little transparent of a formula. So you can get a sheer result. You can get a opaque result. It is smudge proof. It looks beautiful in the brows. It is a very believable color range. And it's so emollient in the like in the formula so you can draw in hairs if you want to with this formula or just draw it on like i do i just what i really like about this formula is how believable it looks in the brows if you choose to go more the sheer route which i love this is so much better than the abh dip brow i said what i said this truly was the year of bronzers uh i have four bronzers to talk about this is the rare beauty bronzer sticks these were released at the end of last year but i reviewed them this year and i have mine in two shades this is in power boost and i also have it in happy soul which is more the shade when i have a little bit of a tan i think this is this is my favorite cream bronzer formula in my collection. I think this is absolutely amazing. It's definitely worth the hype. It was sold out for a really long time for a reason. It really is that bitch. It's such a good like formula. But I also discovered two really amazing cream bronzer formulas that are more on the affordable side. This one is the one that got lost in my collection. I found it. Can we get, can we get applause for me for finding this one? So this is the Isle Bet Super Shock Bronzer from Colourpop. This is they reformulated their uh, cream bronzer formula. And you can see I've used this quite a lot. Can you see the divot in this one? I think this is a beautiful formula. Absolutely stunning, fairly affordable. You can probably find this at Ulta or you can at least order it from Ulta if you don't want to order from Colourpop's website. If you're not living in the US, of course, Colourpop does ship to pretty much every country out there. I think I bet there's exceptions, but I really love this formula. I think it is a beautiful formula. It is a little bit more creamy than the form like a super shock like a super shock is more like a putty to powder formula and this is more of a cream to powder like it does dry down but it's more creamy it doesn't really feel like the putty super shock formula which i think is a good thing with the bronzer because you do want a little bit more give like a little bit more time to perfect that before it sets down and this is probably one of the biggest surprises of this entire year this is the makeup revolution ultra cream bronzer i have mine in medium i have this one on my skin today honestly honestly this is so good again not good 
for the price, a straight up good product. I've used this so much. Again, this is what I'm wearing on my face today. I will say this one leans a little bit more on the cooler neutral side. So if you think that a lot of cream bronzers out there are either too expensive, this is more on the affordable side, or if you think they're a little bit too warm leaning, try this range because I will definitely say at least with this shade, it's leaning a little bit more on the cool neutral side. So I did actually warm it up today with a bronzer on top, but the formula is beautiful. Definitely a good product. I really do recommend that one. It's probably the best product I have ever tried for Makeup Revolution. And I have tried quite a lot of things from them. And then let's mention a powder bronzer. I think this is great. And this is the one that I used a little bit on top of the cream bronzer just to warm it up a little bit. This is the, oh, it smells so good. <clears throat> this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Pressed Powder Bronzer in Tan Lines. And this is a matte bronzer. This is a not in super pigmented. It's pigmented enough. It has the super, it has the perfect amount of pigmentation for a bronzer. If you're coming close to it, online when you open the box, you can smell the, I think it smells like roasted coffee beans. I know some people say coconut, so some people say other things. For me, it smells like it is described to be smell smelling, and that is coffee. I think it smells like that. I have it in tan lines, which is a little bit more, you can see warm leaning, but since it is a matte, and since it is not fully opaque, I think it is a beautiful bronzer to, you, it's easy to buy, easy to blend. It, you don't overdo it too quickly. And again, there are quite a few shades to choose from. I like this packaging. I like that the J is not standing up as much as it did in the beginning. I think that this bronzer is amazing. I've been using it quite a lot during this year. Let's talk about blushes. Okay, I have some blushes that I wanna talk about. Oh, there was a lot of really good cheek products that was released this year. This is, the first time that I'm trying this formula. And this formula isn't new, but this color is perfection. And it's back in stock. The color is back in stock. It was limited edition, but last time I checked, M Cosmetics did restock the Persimmon shade. This is the Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil Blush in Persimmon. This is a yellow leaning orange with the perfect amount of pigmentation and the perfect amount of shimmer. It is what I have on my cheeks today, giving this warm cheek and you can build it up or you can sheer it out. I really think if you were like wanting to get into orange blushes and you miss the uh, the So Retrograde blush that uh, Colourpop discontinued. Really think this is a beautiful formula. Of course, there, this is a baked formula, so it's a little dome. It is a little bit more on the pricey side, but I really think that that is beautiful. I also will say that Unas I released some blushes this year, and they do have a dark orange that is a little bit too deep for my skin tone, and then they have a lighter, more corally orange that is perfect for my skin tone, and they also have these glowy blushes. This is Sienna Luster. Uh, it doesn't look like I've used this one a lot, but I've used this a lot. This one, Sienna Luster, and also the one that's called Rosate Glow, I think, which is the two glowy blushes in this collection. Absolute perfection. I think the matte ones are beautiful too, but these glowy ones are a highlighter blush hybrid. So I can use them on my apples. I can use them all the way up here if I sheer them on out a little bit. It is just a beautiful formula. And these two glowy blushes are absolute perfection. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. I also wanted to give a little shout out to these that were re released this year. And this is the new box blushes by Benefit. Again, if you're looking for an orange blush, this is Butterfly. This is a little bit more pigmented than the Persimmon one, but still, it is the perfect amount of sheen to it. This is a satin formula. I like the satin formula more, but this also comes from someone who likes a glowy blush. I, I am living the glowy blush dream. I also really love the color Willa, which is like a muted almost nudie pink on me. It's like a dusty pink on me. They have a bunch of really good colors, mattes and shimmery ones. And honestly, everyone that I've tried have been really good. They sent me the entire range. 10 out of 10 recommend the Benefit box blushes. It does not have a brush in them anymore. And they're a little bit, I mean, they're thinner than this one and they're about as thick as this one. So I don't think that these are like bulky at all anymore. I mean, it's it's literally thinner than a Super Shock. So honestly, I think they did a really good job at slimming these down and still keeping the signature box blush thing. And yeah, this is a really beautiful formula. Did I mention this is the year of cheek products? This is the year of cheek products. I who thought that I'd be here in the best of 2022 holding up a high school musical blush? That was not on my bingo card. 
but here we are. This blush, this is the specific color. This is in playoffs. This is the best red blush I have ever used in my entire life. This is a matte. This is a matte blush. I don't know if I think that this has any kind of like really sheen to it, but it is not dry or chalky or like overly powdery. It is a sheer red formula that is buildable, that has a little bit of a warm undertone. It is incredibly wearable, beautiful, flattering on the cheeks. 10 out of 10 recommend this. If you have been afraid of red blush, this is the one that I would recommend because it is sheer, buildable and a little bit more on the warmer side instead of that like straight up like clown red. Absolutely adore this blush. Definitely recommend it. I am as surprised as you are. Color me surprised but I do love this one. And this is by far my most used blush this year. There is absolutely no competition. I've used this blush basically every other time that I've done my makeup since I got it. It is absolutely stunning. Cannot recommend it enough. And I also want to give a shout out to the glowy blush formula from Lethal Cosmetics. They sent me these, <laughs> I don't remember what collection these came out with, but they sent me these stickers. You know, the glow in the darks, I put them on the blush compacts. These come in four different colors and I have three of them. It is this dusty pink, absolutely stunning. Again, this is a more of a leaning a little bit more glowy. So if the these ones from Benefit is a little bit more on the satiny side, these are more glowy, not as glowy as the one from Odin's Eye, but definitely more on the glowy side. So this is the uh, more pinky one. And then there is, let me do that one last because that's my favorite. And then this, this one that is beautiful plummy muted wonderful there is also a shimmering red in this and i am leaning towards wanting to try that one because i love this formula so much when that one came out and they asked me i was like yeah i don't need another red blush but now that i'm on the red blush train and now that i know that i love this formula i'm kind of contemplating if i should pick it up love this color as well this one would definitely since this is a again a sheer glowy buildable formula this would definitely work on a skin tone deeper than mine and so would this one oh, mm, love this one as well one of the best orange blushes in my collection again if you this was the year of orange blushes any of these brands if you are this is this video is basically just me telling you about how i discovered some of the best orange blushes in the game during this year cannot recommend any of these enough if you are looking for an orange blush and if you were wondering what's good out there what can i get these are the ones these are the ones cannot recommend them enough let's talk about highlighters let's start with also one of the biggest surprises of this year which is the highlighter that i have on my cheeks today it is that more lit from within believable skin like effortless glow and this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow. I have mine in Champagne Glow. Can you tell how... That looks disgusting. Can you tell how well used this is? Absolutely love it. This is the product that made me go like, oh, so Tarte makes a great product. <laughs> I, I made an order from Tarte. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell... I can see you. I can see you. You're trying to rack me out. Don't tell anyone. I made an order from Tarte. And that order from Tarte is based on me being so impressed with some of the products that I've tried from Tarte this year. I'm just so overly impressed. And this is the one that's impressed me the most. This highlighter is, it's one of those, you know, you click and more comes up. You can draw, draw it on with your skin and just blend it out with your finger. It works without foundation, with foundation, or with glow with foundation, or with matte foundation. Even if you forgot and you powdered before, this one comes in clutch and still works. I used it over powder today. Beautiful absolutely stunning and beautiful and again i love i don't know if these are still available i know that at least one color is still available Th these are so well used this is the highlighters that came in the ColourPop and winnie the pooh collection they really went and did something with these highlighters because these highlighters are you know when colored highlighters were all the rage they're coming back they're coming back Highlight colored highlighters were all the rage and these are yellow highlighters i would not call these gold they went and did a wearable yellow highlighter i have the light one and the medium one uh, this one the medium one is the hundred acre wood this is the one that i've been using the most but i've also really been enjoying this one that's called silly old bear this is a non-glittery highlighty wearable formula that is a 
an interesting take on a warm highlighter. Because you know, every time we get those interesting highlighters, they're always blue, green, and pink, which is lovely. I like that too. But this is a more wearable approach to an interesting highlighter. Cannot recommend these enough. They're absolutely amazing. These, together with that Tarte and this highlighter from REM, are probably my most used highlighters of this year. I've used those quite a lot. I love the REM highlighter so much that I bought a second shade. I understand that people were not head over heels for the REM brand, but I will tell you there are some hidden gems within that brand and especially the highlighter formula. This is an incredible highlighter formula. It comes in so many different colors. I have this one that is Miss Mercury. I also bought the Miss Venus, I think is the one that I bought that is a smidge darker than this one and has more of a war machine. They're beautiful. They're absolutely, I mean, they're in my yearly favorites. What I don't need to tell you. I don't need to tell you. Absolutely stunning. Love the formula. Cannot recommend it enough. If you can see past the, the thoughts that we had about REM in the beginning, I will say they're killing it with this uh, highlighter. I also really love the slim lipsticks. I've been wearing those a lot. I also wanted to give a shout out to the highlighters from Odin's Eye. These are colored highlighters. This one I wore yesterday. This is in Pink Star. Uh, or is this the one I wore yesterday? I think I wore the warm gold, the warm sheen maybe. But they are colored highlighters that are beautiful on the skin. If you are looking for a colored highlighter and want to have this beautiful like compact, I definitely would recommend these. I think they're absolutely stunning. And even though I have been wearing the blushes more than I've been wearing the highlighters, I still think that they're absolutely beautiful quality and they do deserve to be here because they really went and did something with these. I really hope that they come out with even more in more wearable shades so that even more people can get to try this formula because I understand that not everyone is after a purple, a green, or a pink highlighter, but if you are, definitely would recommend these or the highlighter palette from Bella Beauté Bar. This is the Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette. I have a TikTok with this one. Um, I don't know if I have it on TikTok or if I have it on Instagram too, but either way, I will link that down below where I'm showing you this one, showing the shifts. It is incredible. They really went and did something with this one. And at first they said that like, this was like, it came and went and it got discontinued, but I think they brought it back because people are loving it so much. And as of late, I looked a couple of days ago, they did have it up on a pre-sale. This is a beautiful palette. With some of these brands, I do have an affiliate code and I will link it, like I said, everything down below. And if you were interested in any of these, I'll check the description box for some uh, info if I have links or anything, if you wanna save some money. Really did love this one. I usually am not all about like highlighter palettes, but I feel like we have those incredible multi-chrome melt into your skin, beautiful, interesting highlighters all in one place. I thought this one was beautiful. Let's go into lip products. And I wanted to mention this first one. I'm not 100% sure that this was released this year, but I discovered it this year and I'm fairly certain that this formula was released this year. And this is the... Uh, I don't know what this is called. It is the Glowy Formula from Lisa Eldridge. Wait, let me find what it is called because now I feel awfully unprepared. It is called Luxuriously Lucent Lip Color. So this is the, it's a slightly more sheer glowy lip formula from Lisa Eldridge. I have mine in Meet Me in Berlin. This is a beautiful, comfortable, half, transparent but buildable lip color that is like a glowy but not glossy formula and it looks incredible and feels incredible and of course the Lisa Eldridge like has this beautiful packaging as well with the logo on top. I like her matte lipsticks but I love this one so much that I have been on the website at least three or four times since I tried this one looking for which shade to buy next because I love this. I think it is absolutely amazing and I do hope that she comes out with even more colors because honestly this is a banger. I think it was released this year. On the absolute different side of the spectrum we have the Give Beauty lipsticks and these were this whole brand was released this year and this is my absolute favorite thing from the brand. I've talked about these matte lipsticks quite a lot. Uh, I have it in three different colors. I have it in the more nudie shades that is like Tragic Me and uh, lovable me which is this one a little bit more on the brownie side and then of course the original one that she came out with first which is the red one which is the one that made me fall in love with this formula this formula is 
matte. This is an ultra matte formula and it doesn't glide on like a comfort matte that has silicones in it, but this one almost blurs your lips, makes them look smoother and just wears beautifully. It feels like nothing on your lips and I don't feel like this is an overly drying formula. I have just, I just love how my lips look when I wear this and I think it looks and wears so good and so gracefully and I cannot wait for more shades. I'm hoping for an orange. An orange would be amazing, but also like a lighter nude would be something that I would really enjoy. Speaking of Tarte before as well, I don't know if this was released this year, but I think it was, at least it went viral this year. And this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I have mine in Peachy Beige. I do prefer, out of the formulas that they have in this like clicky formula for the lips, this is the one that I prefer, the one that is the Juicy Lip Plump. It has a little bit of a mentholy smell and feel. The plumping feeling is a cooling minty sensation, which you know I love. I love that. This is not a hurting formula and it really does go on and make your lips look juicy and plump and beautiful. And honestly, it's a great formula. It's some things deserve to get good hype and this one definitely was worth the hype. Then we have what I'm wearing on my lips today and I wanted to give a shout out to the Natasha Denona uh, lip gloss in, I think this is like my dream, yeah, my dream lip gloss. This is the one that she came out with in the My Dream collection. Honestly, I like that entire collection. Mm. But the lip gloss is my favorite. I don't usually go for things that are a little bit more on the pinky side, but this is the perfect kind of muted mauve beige and I love it. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but not glittery. It also is just a little bit sheer, so it's not fully opaque. It is just stunning. It's just stunning. I really love this one. I also like the reformulation of her lipstick. I just, I didn't know myself that she reformulated it and I kind of wish that she didn't name the lipstick the exact same because I got bamboozled by that. I thought she just re-released the exact same lipstick in a new packaging because it was the exact same name, but apparently that was a reformulation and I do like that reformulation. So I do hope we get to see more of that, but yeah. This lip gloss, beautiful. That whole collection, honestly, very high quality collection from Natasha Denona. My favorite lip oil formula as of this year, the one that I've been wearing the most is the Lunar Beauty Lip Formula. So he also came out with some, this one are a little bit more on the pigmented side. The, the ones that he came up with first didn't have a lot of pigment. So if you wanted some that are more sheer, I would recommend those. But I think that my favorite is this one that is Love Me, which is a strawberry one. So it smells like strawberry and it's just a very beautiful, wearable red that is sheer and wonderful. But overall, his lip oil formula is just wonderful. It is just really beautiful. It smells wonderful. It looks beautiful on the lips. It looks pillowy and hydrating and I love how they feel and just, I think it's a great formula. I really like them. The purpley one is probably the one that's least my kind of a color. It gives a more cooling lip on, like look on the lips. It gives a cooler color on the lips, which is not exactly, doesn't hundred percent go with my coloring. It, for the right occasion, it's definitely the one. But if you like something that's more of a cooler tone on your lips instead of the red, I would go with the purpley one. But yeah, this formula, absolutely stunning. Except the lip oils, I would say that the formula that I have reached for the most since I bought them are actually the crayons by House Labs. I think House Labs did a really good relaunch at Sephora. I honestly think that the products that they released were good quality. Overall, it was a good launch. I think that that was a good idea to come into Sephora and I like the products that they have. But the best one are the lip crayons. I have it in peach matte, which is a peach matte, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. And then I have it in current matte, which is like a muted red. And this is my go-to statement, but not really statement lip. And I've worn this so many times outside of YouTube, on YouTube, absolutely love this color. I think it is absolutely stunning. And now I'm like, do I want to get another color? But I'm not going to buy any more unless I can see them in the store because I want to see one that is like different from these two. I don't want to get something that's similar. But yeah, I really like these and I would not be mad to see if she released more colors. I think this formula is beautiful. This is also matte, but more on the comfort matte side. I think these are wonderful. Definitely recommend them. And that current matte is the most beautiful, wearable, neutral red. Does this make sense? Honestly, these two together and just mascara, that's it. 
that's it you're a modern day snow white absolutely stunning i also wanted to say i think the glowing lips from colourpop was released this year and i personally think that the glowing lips is the best lip formula that colourpop has it is a glowy lipstick it's very similar to any kind of like like i described the lisa eldridge lipstick it is a semi sheer buildable glowing formula this is a little bit more on the glowing side over the lisa eldridge lisa eldridge is more of a glowy creme lipstick this is more of a shiny formula i have a bunch of different colors and honestly i would not be sad to see even more this is an almost orange it's a little bit too pinky to be perfect for me. I prefer, I mean, if we can compare it to this one, I prefer when an orange has like a yellow undertone. If, am I making this work or am I just saying that I'm going to make this work? I prefer when an orange has a yellow undertone. I think you can see the difference. Can you? I think you can see the difference. That is what I prefer personally when it comes to, to oranges. So this was almost perfect. This was from the... Um, in the springs collection i think from colourpop so this one was in desert aura beautiful color i'm still waiting for the perfect orange but honestly they have a bunch of different colors that had a beautiful like nudie beige that came with the muppets collection like for this season honestly i think they did really good with this glowing lip formula i would definitely recommend it if you're on the hunt for a more affordable lip option that is that like glowy formula definitely check out these from colourpop they're also sold at ulta they uh, are they at? I'm not 100% sure if you can find that formula at Target. Because you can find some Colourpop at Target. But yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I think it is a beautiful formula. I always do a big ranking all of the palettes that I reviewed during this year. And I'm going to have that video on Thursday. Unless, listen, I am prepping and saying that force majeure. Like if something really big happens. But if not... Tomorrow is going to be my palette declutter and on Thursday is going to be ranking all the palettes that I tried this year. Hold on to your panties. This week is a big banger. So I just want to mention my top five of the palettes uh, in the ranking. So this is a sneak peek into the top five, but I'm not going to let you know in what order. So I'm not going to let you know in what order and which one is number one. You're going to have to wait until Thursday to see which one is number one. And you're also going to have to uh, check all the others because I think they're like, how many palettes are there? There are a lot. Clo I think I think it's 90 something. It's a lot of palettes. So let me talk about the palettes without necessarily mentioning them um, in the order that I rank them. Let's start with the one that I have on my eyes today. This is the Ace Beauté Palettopoly palette. I feel like this is the unsung hero of 2022 and I feel like I am partly to blame for this. Me and some others that maybe didn't have enough time to really showcase how beautiful this palette is. I am wearing this entire row together with this uh, murky green in the outer corner. This is wonderful quality. Ace Beauté has one of my favorite qualities out there, especially when it comes to mattes. Their mattes are close to being unbeatable. Beautiful matte formula, buildable, pigmented, blendable. I really love it. They reformulated two years ago and one and a half years ago, last year. <laughs> they reformulated last year. Probably the best thing that's happened to the brand. This palette is amazing. So many different combos in here. It goes from warm to cool, murky, grungy, like almost like murky to bright, like pinks and like blues to some more neutral leaning colors and some purples. There is a lot going on in this palette. Honestly, this palette is very high quality, very beautiful, and I very much recommend it. If you want to, it comes with the game as well, but I'm fairly sure that you can buy the palette without the game as well. We also have to mention these. These are the holiday palettes from Odensai. They really knocked it out of the park. Of course, my palette with Odensai, which was the Hella palette, it was released in early February of this year. Honestly, I mean, that is my favorite palette. That is my favorite palette. I probably could have done something similar to this look with that palette as well. I love that palette. It is now sold out and we're not restocking it, but I, of course, love that palette. Of course, that is my number one palette. I did that palette. I did it with what I love right now, which is murky greens and bright pinks. And I just really, really like it. But I'm not going to be that biased. Of course, it's a favorite. It's the same with the Heather Austin and Adept palette. Heather Austin is one of my favorite. Heather Austin is one of my besties. Obviously, I think that her palette is amazing. I'm going to talk about that more in the palette ranking. So if you're wondering why I'm not mentioning her palette or my palette, it's because I am a little bit biased. 
It's my palette and it's my best taste palette. Of course, I think they're amazing. These palettes are sold out and they said that they were not able to restock them. So this is the Merry Christmas palette. This is the red and green one. Honestly, quality impeccable. I cannot wait. To, like, I will say I do know. <laughs> what's coming from Una's Eye next so hold on to your panties there are more things coming pretty soon they're just going from good to good to good to good you do not have to worry more things are coming and this is the Christmas Eve palette this more cool tone palette really beautiful palette as well these received a lot of hype unfortunately they sold out and they were not able to restock it is what it is sometimes, but just know that more fun things are definitely on the horizon. I also really loved their Soul Mona 2 palette. I think that this palette is absolutely amazing. This is a almost like a twist on a rainbow palette because there is blues, a little turquoise, some periwinkle purples, not reds, but like oranges. And like, this is like a, I like to call this color a orange that is so yellow that you're beginning to question if it's not really a yellow and not an orange, <laughs> which is basically one of my favorite colors in the world. Like I love colors like this, beautiful metallics. Some of these are toppers. This one is a, a duochrome, just a really beautiful palette, a mix of pastels, neutrals, brights, jewel tones. I think they did really good with this palette. Quality is really there and I am very happy to have this in my collection. Don't think that this is a limited edition palette. I think it is sold out right now since their Black Friday sale, but if you wanted to get a hold of this, I'm fairly sure that this one is still available. Another palette that really took me by storm and that I think is an incredible release, not only theming, and like quality and color story, but also price point. And that is the Scooby-Doo palettes by Glamlight. I think these are great. I, I wanna say like, oh, it's a unique color story, but I have seen people show me like dupes of these. So I don't think that this is like a one of a kind color story, which I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that anything is a one of a kind color story, but it is a unusual enough color story so that you don't see it every day. So this is the palette that I cannot pronounce. It's the Rock Roll. Rock Roll Raggy, I cannot pronounce that. I sound like an idiot trying to say that. Stunning, stunning, absolutely love it. These palettes go deep. They're deep and jewel tone and still bright and they're like shimmers and mattes. And I really, the quality of Glam Light has been exceptional this year. It, it seems like they have tweaked an already good formula to something even better. And I also just recently tried the Strawberry Shortcake palette. The shimmers in that palette is probably the best they've ever made. And I'm like, boop, what's going on here? Absolutely amazing. And this is the Creeps and Curls. Oh, it's so sexy. I feel like if you don't want to do and look with all like these on their own, these together with any pastel palette are going to be the two perfect companion palettes together. This one, this one together with Lost in Los Angeles, oh, it's like a match made in heaven. Think these are gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And then the last palette that I'm going to be talking about is the Serenity palette by Cosmic Brushes. I think nobody is surprised that this is in the top five. This is gorgeous absolutely stunning it is purples it is turquoises blues greens it is a mix of again pastels with jewel tones with a pop of neutrals some like iridescent duochromes some metallics and i also love that there's a mix between cool tones and warm tones which is something very intriguing and inspiring because you have this warm like lime green this like peach here and then you have like cooler like turquoises and also like you have cooler and warmer toned greens which i feel is very intriguing not only is this a really fun and again i'm just going to say unique but i'm sure there's something similar on the market but it is a extremely good formula and this is also fairly affordable on the affordable side. I mean, makeup is getting more and more expensive, supply chain, ingredients, all of that. It is what it is. What are we going to do? But this is a fairly affordable palette. And this also, I don't think is limited edition. I think this is also in stock right now, because I was going to say that I was going to let you know when this come back, comes back in stock. But I think this is in stock as I'm filming this. They have restocked this the entire year and it's sold out and they've restocked and it's sold out. But I think right now it is in stock. Beautiful palette honestly a beautiful palette and this one and a couple of these i do have codes with so yeah check the description box down below if you want to save some money if you want to purchase any of these but yeah this is a stunning palette really beautiful palette i cannot recommend this enough this is like the first time that i tried the brand and i cannot wait to see what they come out with in 2023 
I just think that they are doing really good. I think that uh, Odensai is a Swedish indie brand, Glam Light and, um, and Ace Beauté are based in the US, and Cosmic Brushes are having their headquarters in the UK. So yeah, that was it. Those were my favorites of this year. I would love to hear. Is there anything that you have discovered this year that is your absolute favorite? Maybe something that I have been missing. Maybe something that I haven't tried. Maybe I should like try some of your favorites as well. I have done a video. I don't know if I did it last year, but I did do it one year where I was basically doing a full face of like other influencers' favorites products from the year. Like I was watching other influencers' best of the year and I was picking products that they said were their favorites of the year that I, for some reason, haven't tried. Like stuff that I have been like overlooking and then trying them out and seeing, have I been missing out? <laughs> have I been missing out? And I will let you know, when I did that video last time, I did discover a couple of like really good favorite products. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. I could definitely prepare something like that for January once we get to see everyone's favorite products. Anyways, I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe because tomorrow there's going to be an extremely long palette declutter video showing all of my palettes in my collection. And there is a lot. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!